because you're fully aware that your body is addicted to do something, but your awareness is not, has no addiction to it. It's simply aware of what the body is doing. So now you're no longer addicted. So it's something that rises in consciousness and falls in consciousness. Same thing with your emotions. Your addiction with your suffering is you wake up in the morning and you feel depressed. Depression comes, you're really depressed. So you see, you look at the depression as a form of a passing emotion something is passing in your field of awareness an emotion is passing through and you are aware of it so you acknowledge its presence you tell yourself depression is here depression is visiting me and you're not resisting it you're not trying to push it away this is not one of those courses of classes of positive visualization or positive affirmation, okay? Don't come back to me and tell me, oh, I tried to push it away. I tried to say it's not here. I don't teach that. I had people come and tell me, I tried it, it didn't work. I kept telling myself, depression is not here, depression is not here. I'm not t saying that, okay? Pay attention. You simply say depression is here, Depression is visiting me and you are feeling the depression. Okay? Feel it. Feel depressed. Acknowledge it's here. Acknowledge its presence. But don't say I am depressed. Say it's here, it's a visiting me. So this is as if a guest has come to your house and the guest is visiting you. You're not your guest. And guests, they're like breath when you're breathing in and out. Guests, they have to come and they have to go. Otherwise, they choke you to death. Have you ever had a guest come and stay in your house for more than three, four weeks, a month, two months, and they land in and they camp out in the house? then they're no longer a guest. Now they're choking you to death. So guest has to come and has to go. That's a guest. If they don't go, then they become a resident. Same thing. Depression comes and you acknowledge it's here. You feel it. If you resist it, it persists. It gets stronger. But if you acknowledge its presence, and you experience it while it's here, because you can't not experience it, it's bigger than you, then it just goes away. Same thing, sadness comes. Deep sadness comes. You feel the sadness. You acknowledge to yourself it's here. But you don't say to yourself, I'm sad. You only tell yourself sadness is here. Sadness is visiting me. And then it just goes away. It loses its power. It has no power because it's traveling through the field of awareness. You recognize who you are. You recognize you're the awareness. Awareness is here. Awareness is still. It's present. Awareness is not coming or not going. It's always here. And something comes and goes in the field of awareness. And now sadness is here. Then maybe frustration comes. Again, you don't tell yourself, I'm so frustrated. You may even say it, but you don't really mean it. You, you tell yourself frustration is here. Frustration is visiting me and you feel frustrated and then it goes away. You need to change your language and be an observer of the emotion, not to identify with the emotion. You don't become the, the emotion. That's what you've been doing all of your life. 
all of your life, you identify with the emotion and it's very addictive. So some of you keep going through the same thing over and over and over again. A, we don't have the right training. We don't have the right tools. B, is everybody else around you does the same thing. So you're up and down and up and down like a yo-yo. And you go through this all of your life. And then you're trying to do this, you're trying to do that, you go see a psychologist, you take some pills, and none of it really works. And your suffering gets deeper because you're identifying with the emotion. You're identifying with your thoughts. You think whatever you're thinking is defining who you are. Your thoughts means who you are. That's not true. They come and go. Your thoughts always come and go. They don't stay the same. You don't think the same thing every day all the time. You don't feel the same feeling every day all the time. You're not always happy. Ah, You're not always sad. They come and go. So instead of putting your attention on what comes and goes, you're shifting your attention on that which is aware of them, the observer, the one who's observing things come and go, the observer of the emotions, the observer of thoughts, the witness. Bring your attention in that direction. And slowly, slowly, your emotions and your thoughts, they lose their grip. They start to loosen up. But it takes time and it takes practice because you have to uncondition, unclutch from 50, 60, 30, 40, 50, 60 years of one way of being. And now you're shifting from that. But believe me, it's worth it because what you get out of it is beyond. The results are worth it. It's a good investment because it leads you to freedom. It leads you to satisfaction. It leads you to happiness and frees you from this up and down, from the yo-yo.